All right. Well, hopefully we will get enough snow so I can actually do a little side-by-side -side with battery versus gas. That is a Troy built 24 inch 2410 snow blower. Now, honestly, it has not been started for, I don't know, I would say at least a year, maybe a little longer. So I did put a drop of gas in here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if it starts up, which it probably will. So the prime button <laughs> is here. All right, one, two, three, and one more for good luck. Okay. Um, now I'm going to put it on Rabbit, I believe. It's been a while since I've uh, started to, uh, started this up. And uh, what I do need to do is plug it in. So this one is electric start. You plug it in and, uh, you know. So I just want to make sure it starts. Okay. And, uh... Gonna need a couple. Alright guys. Got it started. Woo! Look at that man. Look at those fumes. Blowing fumes on my ego. I gotta move my ego. Wow. Let's see what battery sounds like. Oh boy. Was that noisy and the fumes, man, so healthy for you. Oh, but let's put in two 7.5 amp hours. Close this up. You know what? We'll put it on turbo, okay? Ah, so push in. And that's as noisy as it gets. That is as noisy as it gets. That's it, guys. Pretty. Not noisy at all. Well, here is a good view of my driveway being plowed in. And here comes the truck. And of course, their plow is facing my way and not the other way. <laughs> Which will do better, the Troy built or the Ego? We'll find out. guys I want to just show you this is how much snow we've got all right that's how much snow we got and it's not done yet now I did shovel earlier so the, the beginning is lower and then the end is higher so we're gonna start that process now what I like about this one obviously 
is the chute will stay. And let me lift it up a little bit higher for now. All right, hold this down. Start her up. And the throw distance is amazing on this machine. I'll have to beat that out. Um, all right, let's turn it to the left here. I'm trying to get you to see that. I mean, the throw distance on this machine is definitely better than the Troy build. You want to empty that out before you move forward, by the way. Some people like to push through. that I mean it's, it's, it's crazy um, and you can you know I can bring it down a little bit now by the way the chute was fixed guys I will mention I did do this chute upgrade on this okay um, I don't know if you saw the video and you're aware but this chute does drift but not anymore I will put a link in the upper right hand corner to check out this shoot upgrade video and then uh, we'll tell you about contacting Ego. Now, let me just show you, I do have some uh, armor skids on here. So they are leaving a little bit snow uh, on the bottom. Um, for that reason, they are raised and they're not proper. Honestly, I do have to make some adjustments. So I just wanna make you aware. Much lighter, honestly. A lot lighter. Um, I'm trying to think of where to put the snow. I'm going to put some snow behind my car. So there they go. Both of the girls are at the dance. One's over here and the other one is over there. Um, yep. I mean, they both do a good job. I'll be honest with you. Listen, the gas is a lot less money, right? Um, a lot less money. And um, probably even long term, to be honest with you, with, with gas and cleaning uh, carburetors and stuff. But, um, you know, this here, I've already got batteries, right? I'm already in the ecosystem. So... Um, now here, let me throw this in reverse. This is pretty cool, I love this. Also, kick it into reverse, turn it on. Nice speed for reverse, very comfortable. Um, let's see, I gotta go down this block. So let me go ahead and get in here. or eating it up for breakfast. Let me change the gear. No problem, I'll tell you. These wheels are great. They go through really well. Nice and beefy wheels, by the way. Unlike a stage one. And yep, yeah, you know, guys, I'm fully aware I'm leaving some snow. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I've got to adjust those armor skids, um, but I'm not worried about that at this point. Now, let me go ahead and take the other guy, move it in and, uh, and behind a little bit so you can see that in action. Now, I do have to do a pull here. So let's see. All right, I got it on on. I got it on choke. A little bit of fuel. Shouldn't have to do that too much. And, uh, let's see. Guys, she starts up quick, I'll be honest with you. Um, she does. It's just, it takes a push of a button. <laughs> the snowblower.
stop and I allow it to clear because it's pretty high. It's probably about 20 inches of snow. Why not use two? Look at that, huh? <laughs> Plenty of power, guys. Cleaning the sidewalks using two snow blowers. Check that out. Right here. Alright, a little over. Again, this is a pain because I've got to reach over to lower that. <laughs> but look at this, huh? This is fun. Gas and battery, head to head. Okay guys, 45 minutes later and I'm drained on snow that is pretty darn high to be honest with you. If you take a good look, I mean we've got uh, around 20 inches at this point. Okay, I'm going to go get some new batteries. Well guys, we're definitely still getting some snow. Okay, I mean, and that's a good look, right? Look at that. I mean, that, that's beef eating this up. Now, I want to let you see what's above me. <laughs> this could fall at any moment. I have to be careful. But look at the drifts here. You see the drifts in this corner? Okay. Um, those are about 30-inch 30, 30 drifts. I'm going to try to get into the corner with the machine and uh, just show you, you know, when it works hard, um, it can push through. You just got to get the snow out of the chute. That's the key thing. Get the snow out of the chute. Don't just try to push through completely anyone that uses a snowblower knows. Now I'm going to put the uh, auger on high. I'm not going to use turbo. Um, we'll keep it off turbo. But uh, uh, the drive doesn't have to be that high. On. Yes, the snow 
floor is buried. Let's look at this highway over here. All right, is that crazy or what? That's a pretty nice view if you ask me. a lot lighter for sure better throwing distance too guys I do notice a lockup on the wheels 
for a moment, kind of like the, uh, you know, the, the mower does. You know, it seems to grab a hold of the gear and lock up a little bit. Got the pushing power, obviously. Again, locked up, push forward. push it forward to release it. Guys, let's go ahead and take a look for a second. So, first off, these uh, armor skids, um, as you can see, uh, need to be adjusted. Um, but listen, they do the job. You know, the snow blower does the job. Um, surely, the Troy built is lower, so it's getting down to the ground a little better, of course. Um, so, you know, look, I got to go over this again. But it does the job. It gets the snow down to where it needs to be. And that's the key thing, right? This is where they plowed me in. All right, a little update on snowstorm number two. Um, I guess because the wind wasn't blowing, um, I didn't get any snow in the compartment. Again, the compartment was closed. And as you can see, it just has this lip, you know? And there's no seal on the inside, you know? Let me see if I can brighten that up a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about yeah that's as bright as it's gonna get but uh, yeah there is no seal here and I don't know I might put something I'm not sure but uh, you know another thing also is uh, they this is IP rated um, as far as uh, this is concerned so I will get some uh, information and put it up on the screen um, there are also some drain holes on the bottom that ego made me aware of uh, you know down here on the bottom part so uh, there are some drain holes as well so the machine is made you know for some moisture possibly to get in there just wanted to give you an update let me also bring you around the corner so you can see the amount of snow and I've been unburying my car okay I've been unburying this car here just so you'll know um, and uh, the machine's doing its job. You know, when people think it can't, it can't plow through, it can plow through. The question is, can you, right? But I just got rid of all that snow uh, using this machine. So, you know, it takes them back. You have to push in, you have to wiggle in. But in comparison to how far this comes out, let me just show you if I could. You know, you see that, that that's the plow and I'm still unburying the car. I'll tell you, one of the things that this uh, snowblower does very well with stage two is it really, you know, this system right here, batteries are out of the unit, but that system here takes that snow on these lips and it actually throws it out a lot further. Honestly, 10 to 15 feet conservatively in comparison to the Troy Belt that I have here. Again, this is two stage also, but I guess it's the way they design the second stage 
where it only has a small lip. Um, and that could be good and bad, but you definitely, and not only that, you get one, two, three on the, on the, on the Troy build. And how many do you get on the, uh, the Ego? All right, so yeah, you're getting the same amount. You are getting three, but it does a definite better job of throwing snow by at least 10 to 15 feet further. Okay, so I want to share some final thoughts with you, but before I do, do me a favor. Hit that like button, okay? Um, so here's the thing. It all, it all comes down to personal preference. It also comes down to budget, right? I mean, look, this Ego machine is not cheap. And getting a gas snowblower, it's really not that bad. I mean, three, four, five hundred dollars and then you just got to put gas in the machine and you really have to make sure you take the gas out at the end of the season and, you know, just take care of it. Otherwise, carburetor and gas can be an issue in oil. But on the Ego side, if you already have Ego batteries and you're in the Ego system, then it's not as bad. I mean, initially, it's going to be expensive to get the machine, but you've got the batteries. You think about the gas side. I mean, it's just a gas cost down the road and maintaining the machine. I've got people that have had gas uh, snowblowers for five, ten years, um, and they know how to take care of them. So I hope this information is helpful. Take a look when you get a chance at the slide that I have above. Any comments, any questions, let us know. All right? We appreciate it. Thanks so much. Hey, guys. Take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.